creepy. <laughs> hey guys, I am Chris Gaylor and I'm Amber Foss from Kitchen Cosplay and tonight you are watching with us the finale of Breaking Bad season 1, yeah, episode 7. Last episode, there is no going back. It's the birth of Heisenberg. And yet, yeah, we did find out it's, it's a real chemist out there. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, Walter made the move to get revenge for Jesse and get back his money. He got a little more than that, actually, because he literally threatened to kill them all with explosions. <laughs> How badass was that? Oh, gosh. He's, uh, now he's, he's, he's got no hair now, so he does look like a kind of criminal. He's imposing. I'm going to say this. He's imposing. Jesse is in the hospital. I don't know if he's going to be out in this one. But uh, Walter took things into his own hands, matters into his own hands, and he went at it, and he's good. I'm just hoping that later on, Jesse's is gonna end up way worse than what it is now. It could happen, because I mean, this show is starting soft, and it's going bigger and badder. And, uh, and you did dangerous. tell us that it was kind of slow for season one, and that, <laughs> that our man gonna be blown. Literally, I'm expecting for their business to be more dangerous as they go. And if Jesse gets beat up right away, right now in season one, what is gonna happen later on? Okay, so uh, you know what? We don't. I, I don't know what to expect from this finale. Uh, the show is good at hiding where it's going to go. Like we know basically what he wants to do, but now that he, he's doing it. There's something that needs to happen. We've got Hank who's still following the lead. Like he, uh, he knows it's not Hugo who stole the the, the 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 material in the lab, but they still know that the material came from there. So, what is gonna happen? I have no idea. He's still gonna take, you know, follow his treatment and feel sick about it. So, uh, let's do this. All right. And see what happens. A uh, no rough stuff type deal. Oh my god, okay. That's uh, a mouthful. Last one. <laughs> this is a good show. This is this is getting really good. It was already pretty good. Like you guys have been telling us that this first season, like don't you know, don't uh judge the show based on the first season. It it, it gets better, but it doesn't need to get better. It's still it's already good. It's already good. <laughs> Whoever took it had a key. We're talking Inside job, someone who's still in the My school. god, he's feeling bold. Why is he doing that? I think he's never done something like this before. But after he, what he did last episode, he doesn't want to hear this. He doesn't want to be part of this. He wants to feel Cutter, this. Your face is kind of showing something now. <laughs> yeah. He wants, I think he wants to feel this rush of adrenaline again. Two full face respirators. <laughs> what? He teased her. She wanted more. I think it doing what he did, it's kind of freeing for him. It freed him. It it's it's he doesn't want to give a shit. He wants to live. This was illegal. He got a rush for what's illegal now. It's no I think it's uh the fear of getting caught. He's looking for that same feeling he got because he, he had a, uh, a win, like he won that fight. So he wants it to happen again. The basement, unfinished of course, but just look at all this space. You gotta think oh. rec room, media room. Just imagine all the things you could do down here. <laughs> Killing a guy. I think it's a good idea for him to just leave the place. It's gonna give him nightmares for the rest of his life. It's by appointment only. Oh, I'm, I'm here to see the owner. Yo, it's not a it's dump. appointment only! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no shit. You didn't actually go see Tuco. He did. Here's your share. <laughs> that is seventeen five. Your half of the 35000 Plus there's an extra fifteen in there. It's all yours. You've earned it. Deal. You made a deal? <laughs> but how? Why would you make a deal with that scumbag? Two pounds a week, thirty-five thousand a pound. Without even talking to me, you you told 
This insane ass clown, dead eyed killer that, uh, that we would, we would give him two pounds a week? Now, we'll just scale up our operation. We'll add a few more hours. No, don't talk to me about hours. What about pseudo, man? How are we going to get that? See, that's the bottleneck in your uh, brilliant business plan. All right. Of course, you would have known that if you would have just asked me. Again, we kind of see that Jesse's the one who knows the business. Yeah. Here we are. Yeah. Here we are. <laughs> but Walt's got the balls. Charlie looked great. Thank you. You must be... Oh, my God. This is the look on the... I've seen this look before. <laughs> Gotta look like professionals. Junkyard. Let me guess, you, uh, you picked this place? This is like, oh, I saw this in a movie. Ooh, yes. look at me. <laughs> <laughs> He's right. I don't know, uh, how about Taco Cabeza? Half the deals I've ever done went down at Taco Cabeza. Open 24 hours... God. Nobody ever gets shot at Taco Cabeza. <laughs> Hell, why not the ball? It's true that if no, you wait, act wait, like hey, you don't want to be caught, to you're gonna get caught. I think he's nervous. <laughs> he's talking too much. Yeah. He is nervous. I mean, he almost died. Yeah. Look, you don't have to be here for this. I think he needs to put hey, his I mean, foot down. I'm okay. If he doesn't show up, he is gonna look weak. And he's never gonna be able to take him seriously. It's already gonna be bad, you know? What are we doing way the hell out here? What, they close the mall or something? <laughs> <laughs> Told you! Iceberg, come on, break it out. We had some production problems. 0.53. I thought you was a player. So they're gonna have to deal with the supply Six problem. Two pounds next Friday and no production problems. Can you handle four pounds? What are you talking about? Talk. <laughs> but he got the fucking money! This guy, ever since he started his treatment, he's got balls of steel. <laughs> And I think Jesse just pissed his pants. <laughs> oh, freaking. But gosh. now they need to find a supplier or Four something. Pounds. Four pounds. Two pounds wasn't bad enough. We're talking two, three hundred boxes of sinus pills. There ain't that many smurfs in the world. We're not going to need pseudoephedrine. We're going to make phenyl acetone in a tube furnace. Then we're going to use reductive amination to yield methamphetamine. Four pounds. So no pseudo. No pseudo. Yes, science! Science! 40 grams thorium nitrate. Yo, Mr. White, I can't even pronounce half this shit. No, you know what? Count me out. All right, I'm leaving town. I'm moving to, like, Oregon or something. This is Jesse, just... Jesse, Jesse, listen to me. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. <laughs> what are you doing? This is the first day of the rest of your life. Are you going to ask you to marry you? <laughs> We need them, and only you can get them for us. It's weird, because he's giving in confidence, okay. but he's giving him confidence to make drugs in the worst way that he's been doing, you know? Uh, I don't know why, but I feel like he's dragging, he's gonna drag him down a little bit. It does seem that Walt is getting addictive to it. He's addicted to the the feel. He's addicted Power, to the, the money. The control of it. Everything. Yeah. And I mean, Jesse started as a small time, you know, meth cooking seller thingy. Now he's dragging him down in the rabbit hole. Hi, sweetheart. Ollie, I am very proud of you. And uh, I think about you all the time. Aww. No, but... Always know that you have a family who loves you very, very much. He's not gonna know her for long. He knows that. 
for him to say that through the camera, it's like, it's his only chance of saying stuff to his daughter. Methylamine. Where's the methylamine? I don't see the methylamine. Yeah, well, that's where I ran into uh, some trouble. And they got it locked down tight. But I did find some pros who will rip it off for us. If they want 10 grand. They got guards and security cameras. They got steel doors. That's why these dudes are charging so much. Okay. Uh, so why don't we just steal it ourselves? Oh my god, what? <laughs> yeah. How are we gonna do that? With this. What's... But man, he's a... Uh... He's willing to do a lot of things now. In World War II, the Germans had an artillery piece. It's the biggest in the world. Called the Gustav gun. I mean, you could drop bombs on it every day for a month without ever disabling it. But, you drop a commando, one man, with just a bag of this, and he could melt right through four inches of solid steel and destroy that gun forever. <laughs> All the stuff he knows! All the stuff he knows! My god, he's yes. way too dangerous! I think he will cut through any lock we're likely to find. That guy You'd like to return that was underappreciated his entire nice. life. People looked at him and saw oh, yes, someone story. worth nothing. Uh, do you happen to have a receipt? Um, no. Wait, there he is. There he is. Yeah, yeah, I see him. Okay, wait till he passes. Okay, sir. Oh my gosh. They're not made for this. <laughs> oh my god. You're not a. It's all I had. <laughs> this is all they had. You're in the wrong place. Let's put it on. Of course. You Pons and stuff. <laughs> He's so terrified. Oh Poor my god, kid. that is such a... You've got Walt who's looking for this feeling of I'm alive again. When he does something illegal, he feels the adrenaline. It's a rush. He's addicted to this. And you've got Jesse who's desperately looking for that acknowledgement. You're good at what you do. <laughs> It's a very good idea. <laughs> but he's got his radio on him. He can call for help. Yeah, but it's gonna take him time. And maybe he's alone, I don't know. Jesus. Damn. But honestly, that guy could be so dangerous. He is dangerous. Oh, fuck! So they knew it, it was gonna happen. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> Where were you? I was. This is like one of the bathroom. worst places to be stuck in. What the hell are you doing opening the door? How are you taking the key out? Come on. <laughs> oh my god. I think they should have prepared a little more. This is so funny! And it's also tragic and dramatic. Did they get at least the good chemicals? I, I hope they did. Well, in the basement? But isn't he selling the house or something? Yeah. And it's on appointment only, so I don't know if someone's gonna show up, but. Uh... You're a real estate agent. When is she supposed to come back? Oh shit. Yeah. I don't know. Um, this right there. Oh. Oh uh oh. She's already there. Oh fud. Oh, oh my shit. god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh fudge. Oh fudge. <laughs> oh fudge. <laughs> Shouldn't she tell Jesse before she does that? Yard. 
Oh my god, there's so many people! <laughs> Does it, doesn't it smell anything? I wanted to see what was going on. Damn. Excuse me, I'd just like to see the basement. That was occupied. It's not a bathroom. Hey, I just want to see the basement. What's the big deal? Yo, you ain't seen the basement, bitch. You got that? Set sick it in? Now beat it. All you all, house is not for sale. Get that Oh, you're not doing the house anymore. Is he? Or did he just say that to, you know, send them away? At least that's it solved their problem, but oh, I don't think the house is gonna be sale. And I mean, it's like that that little shot of Walter. It's kind of it's kind of like he's forcing Jesse to keep living in that place, even though he hasn't. He cannot live in that place. It's too much for him. He's going through a lot too, and uh, he's forcing him to keep going that way. He's making him steal stuff. He's making him deal with people he doesn't want to deal with. And Jesse is not able to say no because he wants to do this. And he's, he's craving the acknowledgement, the acknowledgement. The good son, you did a good job. You're the best for this. Uh, so I think that it might be a part of a, uh, a power relationship in it. Maybe like, that too. Walt just... Are you smelling? Oh, yeah. Sacred Navajo herbs. She thinks he went to his wet house. <laughs> yeah. Like, like I said, I think that there's also the... the he was his teacher. He and, was his uh, teacher in a position of power, so that, that might not help at all. You know that uh, tiara that Maroonie gave us? Mm. Well, she stole it. I mean, she refuses to admit it. She refuses to apologize. I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> You've got Walt who's doing way Sometimes worse. do things for their families. Well, People sometimes do things for their families. Yeah, I think he's trying to explain himself. Just to what would you do if it were me? You don't want to find out. <laughs> I think he does want to point out. That's why he asks. Yeah. Cause that that's it. She's she's telling this about her sister stealing, but he's cooking meth, dealing with drug dealers, drug dealers and stuff, toll stuff. And he's loving this, and he's doing all of this for her. I think that <sighs> same thing with Hank now, earlier. The he started this for her, his family. But I think that as of now, a part of him is just doing it for him. It's crazy. That's a lot. Oh, jeez. What is this shit? This is blue. Uh, blue? I said it was gonna be blue. But it is every bit as pure. What? And what did I say, man? This guy can cook. You're all right, man. You're all right. We're gonna make a lot of money together. Just remember who you're working for. Say that again? What did you say? Yeah. <laughs> Just saying. Are you saying that they're stupid? <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just saying. It's like a complete turnaround. So you're not saying that they're stupid. Are you saying that I'm stupid? No, nah, come on. What? Come on. I'm just. <laughs> no, but it could turn into a sh no, you're just a shootout. Me. Like I ain't got the goddamn sense to speak for myself. Uh, okay. Is that it? To deal with that, let's just go home. Tuko. He's such a loose screw. Tuko. Oh no, it's gonna die. I kind of fear, yeah. I'm relaxed. I'm relaxed. He's hitting him, he's gonna hit him. That guy is so dangerous. No, don't, 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 uh. Holy shit, shit, shit! He's gonna kill him! He wanted no more bloodshed. And it's one of these, is guys. <laughs> is that? Well, if he's not, he's not. Holy shit! It's one of his own guys. This is so dangerous. If they mess up even once, they could die. 
But to me, it almost feels like for a second it was fun for him. Like putting on a disguise, playing a character, doing things for Rush, but, but this is like a callback to reality. Yeah. Yeah. Switch back. <laughs> Remember why you're doing this too. Fudge. So now we know where the, the blue man from Mickey Bad is coming from. That's how it oh. ends? Oh my god. <laughs> well, I might say that it's a... Uh, <laughs> it's a great it's finale. It's a pretty good finale, guys. Like, it's just, it's just like an opening. It's like the door just opened a little bit to show us... You think, you think they got this now? You think they know what they're doing? There's so much more coming. People in this world are crazy as shit. And he's probably not the worst. But the thing is, now they decided that they were going to work with him. It's done. The, the deal is done. If they want out, if they run out, if uh, Walter dies and Jesse ends up being alone, damn, that guy is coming for them. He did that to one of his guys. And we, you know, he already beat up Jesse. Jesse had, you know, he, uh, he knew it was dangerous. He didn't want to do this. But Walt, after last episode, it's like now he, ha he has that confidence, you know? He believes he can do anything. He believes he's invincible and exactly. nothing can attain him. Yeah. And even though he was fishing, you know, with Hank and with his wife, he was kind of fishing for approval, kind of. Like, yeah, oh, what would you do if, if it was me? Like, he's trying to see if... If you know what's legal, illegal. Yeah, like he's trying to justify his actions a little bit, at least in his mind. And since he cannot come to a, uh, an answer by himself, he's looking for the people he loves. For that, he wants to, them to, ask, to answer it for him. Yeah. So, uh, so deep down, he still knows that what he's doing is wrong. But now he doesn't really want to stop. So he's putting on the disguise. He's playing the character. You know, he's doing he's slowly this. sliding into a denial. He was, but I think that last scene right there, it kind of uh, yanked him back to reality. Like, dude, don't well, forget, he, he this is dangerous. Glasses. Yeah. But uh, from Eisenberg, you go back to Walter, Walter White. <sighs> Man. So now Jesse's not going to But what I'm house. afraid of, like you said, you said that Walt was kind of looking like he was funny. funny. And for a, mom, for a moment, I was scared that maybe... That violence might come back again, and maybe Walter's gonna burst. Be craving for it, for violence. I think he got he got, too... he got a he got a rush for control, power, uh, doing stuff illegal doing stuff, doing illegal stuff, being a position of control. And when you're under the the drug world, violence is a way to have control over something. Just like we just saw, he literally beat up the guy to show that he was the one in control. But uh, I don't think I think it's might it might be too early for him to go that. Maybe not bad. now, but we got like what five to six season, something like that. Yeah, it's gonna go even worse. And I'm really, I'm really, I I'm scared too because we saw in that episode that JC at the beginning what he found it funny doing drugs and meth. But eyes going on, is going on. He's. He looks he's like being, he's like he's being forced almost. He's he is being forced yeah. to do stuff that he doesn't want to do. He's becoming more scared of doing it, even though he's trying to put up a front with Walt yeah. and people. But he yeah. is scared. That's we what I. It. He is scared. <laughs> That's what I said earlier in the episode. I feel like. You know, Walter. He doesn't really have anything to lose. He's gonna die at the end of this, one way or or the other. He's doing this for his family. So one, he has a very good reason that motivates him. So and two, <laughs> and two, he knows that no matter what happens, eventually he's going to end up dead. So it takes away the fear factor, maybe. It takes away the stakes. Whereas Jesse, he has his entire life in front of him. He's a kid still. Like someone told me, he's like in, in early 20s. He's so young. He's a rich guy. Yeah. <laughs> He's really young. He has his whole life in front of him. And he is intelligent. If he, if, if he could only put maybe the, the work in the right places, you know. But he doesn't because that's what he's good at. And he doesn't want to change. But the thing is, he's cr I think he craves Walter's approval. Has a teacher 
as maybe a sort of father figure and as a partner he wants for some he wants for him to tell him you're doing a good job which is something his parents never did tell tell him dad but also he's screaming for someone he's, he yeah, wants, he wants someone in his life yeah interaction exactly and uh, but honestly so far He's the one going through all the shit. He's the one who needs to live in this house knowing that there were two people who died and one was dissolved. Or maybe two, maybe dissolved too, yeah. So they dissolved bodies in this house and because of Walt's plan and because of the way he wants to do his th everything, he needs, he has to live in this house. It's his life that's at stake more than Walt here because He's the one who deals with the criminals. He's the one who goes to take the stuff. So every every lead comes back to him. It, the RV is in his, his driveway. So there's that. He's the one who got beat up as well. So And he, ne he needs to keep dealing with uh, Tuco. Even though he got beat up by him. So he's the one dealing with the consequences right now. I'm not saying that Walt is never going to have consequences. He did go through some shit. But... Uh, Right now, to me, it looks like Walter is... It, he gets reminded of it uh, here and there. Like when Jesse screamed, Ah, oh, the house is not for sale anymore. You saw that that little shot of Walter just looking up a little bit. I think he knows that he's putting him through a lot. But the appeal is bigger. He cares more about his family. So he's not... Like, like he said last episode, he's all in. So no matter the consequences... He's gonna do it. There is one thing, though, I think he doesn't like. It's for Jesse to suffer physically uh, for what they're doing, which is why he went back last yeah. episode. But uh, it's like he's deluded. He doesn't understand that what they're doing is really dangerous, and it could go way worse than what he did last episode. And la right there, we, we got a glimpse of how bad it could go. A glimpse... Because no one died yet. Well, yeah, they did. Yeah, they did in the first episode. <laughs> but uh, no I'm just died. saying. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's the road he chose for himself oh. and for Jesse. And it can only go one way now. If they keep going that way. And that, actually, now it's too late. Now it's way too late. Because that choice has been made. The deal has been is done. Tuco is not going to let them go if they decide to stop. So they're the in to stay. Day. They kill him. Yeah. They already did kill the last drug, huge drug dealer they had, so uh, I don't think they're ready to stop that deal, but uh, they really need to be more careful. Like, that that uh, that thing they did to steal the, the, the chemicals, they were not prepared. They looked like amateurs. It was so funny. I'm up, just a sec here, I'm pausing. Hello? Bonjour. No, me said no. <laughs> Mais là, euh, on va essayer de partir vers. On n'est pas parti encore. Nous autres, on va partir vers 7 heures, 7 heures et quart. Tu vas tout arriver pas à cette heure-là? Tu vas te savoir souper, toi? Okay. okay. Bye. Bye-bye. Going back. Okay. What was I saying? So, yeah, uh, just <laughs> basically, I think that right now, Walter is taking advantage of Jesse a little bit. And uh, I'm not saying this because Jesse is my favorite character. I'm saying this because I feel like Walter right now, he's in an, he's in desperate need for ad, ad, adrenaline. Right now, he's going through the motion, and he's always been through the motion. It was always like, get up, do your job, go, go yeah, do your second job. Yeah, but not the friends that is in control of the paddle. He's in control, control exactly. Through the Before he was no one, and it's incredible how much people underestimated him every time. Like, he was just this chemical teacher. There, there, you've got Hank, who doesn't even begin to understand the possibility that he might be linked to this. And he's a pretty, you know, huge uh, suspect. He's the chemistry, chemistry teacher. He's the one in charge of the place. But he never suspected oh. him. He laughed when he learned that he was uh, smoking pot. 
It's never, he's never an option because people underestimate him. And he was always underappreciated. All of his skills. Damn. What do you think about the fact that Walt the, uh, is going really bold right now? Uh, bald or bold? <laughs> <laughs> He's bold. going both. Bold. Bold. Like yeah. having sex in a, his car, right beside um, yeah. a police car, maybe a police station. I'm not yeah, sure. right beside, even though it's illegal. It's illegal. But uh, I think, yeah, that's exactly what I just said. He's looking for a way for himself to feel alive. What he felt last episode, the adrenaline, that's what he wants. And when, when he's doing something illegal, that's the rush. That, that, that's when it happens, you know? Because, I mean, when you're doing chemistry, you, you feel uncomfortable and you fear for your life. But when he's doing this, he already knows he can do this. He did this last episode and he succeeded. That was one win. He's in control, like you said. So he's doing it again. He's taking a risk. And every time, it's, it's another win. It's another win. So he keeps oh going. Gosh, he should have... He would have been great if he wasn't such a purge. <laughs> One of the year can do everything he wants. It was a very good first season. We got to understand these characters and we got to discover them. And I, I'm glad we know them like this before it gets darker and darker and darker. Because now we can actually see them do stuff and we find it funny or we find it tragic. And we can understand their motivation. What? Well, kind of look like a kid during Christmas times or yeah. trying to do stuff and oh my god it works oh my god so especially like I mean when they were stealing the thing they were so not ready it ended up being okay but uh, they, it looked like they were forced to do this in Jesse's case it's almost that but uh sorry my friend just listened to the last episode of Game of Thrones season uh, 6 she's freaking out <laughs> anyway but um yeah I, I think they need to take you need, they need to understand that what they're doing now is dangerous and they should not take those risks without Very at clean. least th thinking about it and i think walter and jesse really need to talk and walter needs to understand that it's not okay to force jesse to do stuff he doesn't want to it's true that they are partners and walt really needs this to go his way because he needs the money but Jesse is putting his life on the line here. It's a partnership. He shouldn't take... Walter shouldn't take uh, decisions without ta talking to Jesse about it. Like he yeah. did this episode. He needs to respect him as much as Jesse respects Walter. Which he does. It's obvious he does respect him. His word is law for him almost. When he didn't want to go find the, that list and he took him, you know, by the shoulders. This is the beginning of the rest of your life. <laughs> Which was funny, by the way. But then he's like, oh, you can do this. You're the only one who can do this. He's never heard that before. Oh my god, that's so sad. Mm. These two characters are tragic and together... You're gonna make blue meth, apparently. <laughs> uh, the blue meth. Where I, I heard that before. I don't know why or where or... Uh, but the neighbors... The neighbors. Yeah, with Zac Efron. They did a reference to Breaking Bad with the blue mat. Oh yeah, maybe. I did. And I mean, I think movie. many people. Every time someone makes a joke or you know parody of Breaking Bad, it's blue meth. So I was really surprised that everything was green or clear, like clear uh, meth in this yeah. season. So now I get it. Now, but one thing though, that's gonna be their signature. Uh, what did we say about signatures? You got caught. You're gonna get caught eventually, just like the chili pepper. If the police or the uh, as a way of recognizing your product, it's gonna find you. Although well, we could argue, they did have a way to recognize a product because that's pure it's the clearest meant exactly that they could find. So yeah, technically you're right. So I think maybe that that line has been breached already. But uh, it's going to be even more dangerous because now they've got the whole police force, the whole, you know, they're working on their case because yeah. they could be dangerous. They could be huge. And uh, But now he's got a name, Eisenberg. I don't know, I, I don't know if he's going to keep the hat, but he's got a signature look. He's trying to play it tough. I think he's going to keep the hat. Yeah? Yeah. It would be funny. Maybe his glasses, but the, the hat. 
Like, let's not... It, it's almost like he's saying, I'm taking away the what was covering my uh, vision of the of the deal. Like, I want to see, clearly see what's happening because I, this is real. This is not a game. So I take off the glasses that yeah, change my perception of reality. And instead, I'm going to keep my glasses. We're going to keep me real in the moment. But I keep the hat because this is part of who I am now. This is oh. nice. All right. So Eisenberg so, and Jesse Pinkman are going to make yeah. blue meth together. Finally. I really want for Maureen. Maureen. Uh, Ma Maureen, the, the sister. Wasn't name? that Marie? I don't know. Marie, Maureen. Her. The sister. The sister. To face the choice, the consequence of her choices. Because the big difference that I uh, observed between her and Walt is that Walt started doing meth and illegal stuff to... Uh, pay his medical bills and protect his family financially, but her is really just for the fun of it. I know that she's for the rush. She has a problem because kleptomania is a problem. Is yeah. a problem. It's hard to stop once you've started. Once you feel felt that need, and it also goes to show that there's a bigger problem. Maybe she, maybe she's missing something in her life. Why, why did she start? I mean, for the for the fun of it? Or? Well, technically, her husband is always talking about himself and how amazing his job is. And he, he turned every conversation about him. Oh my God, yeah, I'm that awesome. True. And she's kind, of, she's kind of put aside a bit. Yeah, that's true. That may be a reason for why she's And I mean, that. let's um, think about it. Her sister's pregnant. She has a, she has two, she's going to have two kids. She has no she kids. She has none. She has, yeah, like you said, she has a husband who keeps talking about himself. But well, maybe she just needs I, I'm, something I'm for not herself. Gonna, you know? I'm not gonna trash Hank though because he might, I'm liking him more. He might, he might be a, a great guy, and like uh, we read in your comments, yeah, he, he kind of does. Uh, he, he wants to be supportive of the situation, and it is insanely care about them all, but. He, he kind of be the narcissistic side of him yeah. a lot of time. <laughs> he is. He might change. I mean, if we address her, his uh, wife's problem, maybe he cares about her enough to actually pay attention and, and help her deal through this. But uh, I don't know, maybe the problem is not about Hank at all. Could have imagined if they did call the police and Hank showed up the, to the shop, come... Uh -huh. <laughs> your husband or you? What's wrong with your family? <laughs> but I'm liking uh, where this is going. Uh, this is gonna get serious fast, and uh, I want to see. I want to see where this is gonna you heard go. That, guys, that's the police. Oh my god, we're gonna get killed! <laughs> oh no, hide the mask! <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was season one of Breaking Bad. You guys are enjoying this. We are enjoying this. I hope you guys are going to be there for season two. We're not going to take any breaks. No, we're just we're just way too much into it for we that. We have it already anyway. So it's ready to go in there and for us to react. So next, this is what, episode seven? Yep. So uh, in two days, next Thursday, episode one of season two. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for watching, guys. If and you see you. No, yeah, sorry. If you want to see the first episode of season two right away, it is already up on Patreon. So the link is in the description. If not, well, you need to wait for two days exactly. to see episode one of season two. Yes. Of so Breaking Bad. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye. And see you in two days.